Okay, so we're back to the Mario challenge, for this time with 30% more use of the waterfall. And now we have Bowser, who can't jump onto those blocks without some speed, apparently. So he can punch, but he's a lot slower at punching than Link is at slashing. I don't know if it does more damage or not, but... Okay, I don't think... Okay. Do I need to hold the Y button at all for anything? Yeah, I do. So I have to punch to get going if I want to get any actual speed. But I can duck n the way I normally do. And let's see what his alternate costumes are. We have a slightly different colored Bowser, and that appears to be it. I'll just take the normal Bowser for now. Looks more natural with the coloring, I think. He seems to be about as fast as Wario. I There may be some slight difference, but I can't really notice it offhand. So I don't remember all his mechanics, I don't think. Especially since a couple have changed, and it's not as straightforward as Wario's Shaw. And even with Wario, I forgot the whole dashing thing. Oh yeah, this level. This level's pretty awesome. But I have no idea how Bowser's gonna work in it. So yeah, anytime I want to press Y, I have to do that really slow punch. So this just tells me uh, how to get in the castle. And... Here we go. This is actually one of my favorites, if not my favorite level in Smebex, so I, I'm kind of surprised it came up here, to be honest, considering how many levels I've got. But, and I don't know if Bowser's going to really have a good time completing this, but can you duck under these? Yeah, probably anybody can, because they probably wanted a way to uh, make sure that you can... Okay, that's solid that you can slip into one tile gaps. This is solid. All of that's solid. This isn't a good level for Bowser because there's no enemies to steal the souls of. So... And punching those guys doesn't do a darn thing, so... I'll move you a little bit out of the way, because that's exactly where I want... Oh, well, that's even better. <laughs> if you're just gonna die like that. There's a bunch of uh, pa different paths in this level, but I don't know them all. Well, honestly, I don't know that many. Well, I guess I chose I little without even choosing that time. I really don't know the paths in this level at all. So hopefully I choose things that are reasonable for Bowser. Okay. So it did that probably because I think you can't really transition between vertical and uh, horizontal areas in some of without doing something tricky. I don't really know how it works. Let's land here. Oh, how do I get past here exactly? Hmm. I guess maybe I have to go hit a switch back there or something. I know this... Hmm. But there's these... Things. I can always take a hit, except I can't really take a hit right now, because I don't have a hit. S oops. Well, I think I was stuck there anyway. I'm gonna keep going until I hit this one, and let's see what's in this direction. Hopefully it's... Yeah, it's got more of these Mario blocks. Yeah, so... It, that has both startup and uh, wind-down lag, so... I can't expect it to uh, punch immediately, or recover from the punch immediately. Gosh. I... Yeah, I... Float down, and I made it past that. Don't know how much farther I can make it. I'm not... I have no clue what happened there. I'm assuming I grabbed the fence and then immediately fell off the fence for some reason, but... Okay. I think this will give me a power-up or something, but that doesn't really help me, because I think Bowser only has two hits. Dang it. Okay. So I can make it in here, thanks to the floating. If I lose this floating, I'm... Oh. I can't even... Can I even get up there with the Mario blocks in the way? I'm not sh... Yeah. I don't think I can make it up. Okay. That's it. I've got to re-roll. I think those Mario blocks are just used to keep enemies 
uh, in certain spots, but I can't get past them either as Bowser, so... Oh yeah, this level, I remember this level. I forget what's in the pipe again. And I guess it's the way on. Yeah, I'm not gonna read all the poems or anything, but... Let's see if this level goes any better. Maybe there will actually be some enemies to kill so that I can, you know, use Bowser's actual gimmick. So yeah, now I have music notes following me. I think I'll keep... I, I think I'm gonna keep this because... Okay, so what... How does this work exactly? I tell him to go and he dies because the font's too powerful. Okay. So for now, let's just keep track of Thwomps. As long as I keep my cape, I should be good, because Bowser... Bowser can't spin jump, but neither can Peach, and you normally play this level with Peach, so... As long as I keep the float, I don't think I should have to do anything that's, uh, unexpected for Bowser. But that's a big if, considering... Yeah, I just got hit. <laughs> yeah, th even this is gonna be hard. Eh. That was close, that was close. Oh yeah, I can kill you, because I'm not Peach, yay! Alright, so let's grab this Fire Flower. Oh yeah, Bowser gets to throw fire like he. That's cool. It's gonna be weird because so many of the bosses are Bowser. <laughs> like, there's gonna be so many Bowser on Bowser fights. Well, giant cellos and these things. And those probably aren't cellos. I just have no idea what I'm talking about when it comes to music. Dang it! Yeah, too slow. But if I had waited, I'm not sure I would have made it back onto the platform in time. No, this is gonna be bad. Yeah, yeah. Gosh. And this isn't gonna work. Maybe if I was a little bit faster, I could have slid onto that. I think I hesitated just a bit too much. I'll take one more shot at this, but I'm not sure it's gonna be feasible. Especially since I only have two hits. Oh, there's nothing in that door, I guess. Unfortunately, being able to throw enemies in the swamps isn't super effective in this level. Punch. I think Bowser overall is going to be really hard to play in a lot of levels, because a lot of the levels that are actually fairly difficult are generally the ones where um, throwing enemies isn't going to be a very valid attack anyway, so... I'm expecting Bowser to be a relatively harsh character to play most of the time. And I mean, he can hit stuff like this thing, but so can Link, and Link doesn't have super slow speed. Whoa, that was close. Bowser can slide, though. That's good to know. Alright, so this is actually easier without the cake, because I don't have to worry about bouncing into the top one. Made it through that, that time. Oh, I can punch you, too. Well, that's good to know. I guess he can kill some tougher enemies than Link. Can I punch, like, you or something? No, here as much. You're probably, like, literally a tile or something that just has a generator inside or something like that, but... I don't really know how it works. So I think Bowser's only two hits, so collecting this doesn't do anything for me. Yeah, that's another thing that's gonna make Bowser tricky, is that he only takes two hits. And unlike Wario, who has, like, the power-up fountain for her cash. Yeah, I don't think I can get past it without taking a hit. Maybe I should've tried, but... Because I'm not sure I can make it past you without taking a hit, either. Go quickly and duck, okay. I mean, even with Peach, that probably wouldn't have been easy, but... I was probably... It's an even tighter squeeze with Bowser, who can't move quickly. Oh, I can kill those with fire. Nice. I'm not, I, I mean, those are eerie, I think, so I don't think fire would normally kill them unless that's the level instead of the uh, crud. I'm not 100% sure if that's the level or Bowser that's killing them, but, ah, dang it. I went to hold the Y button again and died for it. Wow, get a one-up for that? That's pretty sweet. I better start punching stuff more, because that's gonna help out a lot. I'm not sure if that's intended, but, eh, get back on! Darn it, ah, so close. I'm not sure why Bowser's fire isn't doing anything there, but... Yeah, I don't think I'm making that. I'm just gonna re-roll. This level is clearly intended for Peach, although you, you, anyone who's even a semi-competent jumper would be able to make those jumps, but... I, unless maybe some sort of tricky saxophone jump would have worked, but I'm not gonna bother trying to do that. And <laughs> we have this level. Wow. I'm not sure, like, a lot of levels require you to be able to dig down and stuff like this, so I, want, I wonder if there's how many of the custom characters are able to deal with dirt. Because, I mean, four out of the five of the main original cast were able to deal with stuff like dirt here. 
But now we've got... Now instead of 4 out of 5, we've got maybe like 4 out of 15 who can't deal with dirt. May, uh, Rosalina probably can, but... And pr maybe a couple others, but I guess I'm a loser in the Book of the Dead today. Sorry, Rakow. What? Okay, this is a uh, more standard level, I think, so I think I should be able to make it through. Okay, so let's go over here. And now I can kill the ninjis. Or ninji, I guess. Avoiding these boos is a serious puzzle because anytime you let go of the button to attack something, you have to take a moment of lag to actually attain running speed again. I kind of wish that Bowser would automatically have running speed, like Link, and that you wouldn't have to hold the Y button to make him run because that way you wouldn't have to punch to be able to run again and the punch that's really annoying because the punching is really slow whoa that's some strange interaction there okay well I lost the firepower because of that which sucks because that was would have been very useful to kill those ghosts Yeah, I, I just can't make that, so I think I have to re-roll after all that, again. Yeah, this should be doable with anybody. Yeah, this level should be alright for Bowser's enemy tossing. Ah, crud. Well, he just wandered away, so that was useless. Okay, that just kills it. So I gotta hit the Koopa when it's actually a Koopa, or else it's just gonna die. So you go, my pal. Go and kill that guy over there who's probably your family member. I feel like a great person now. Okay, that's... Good old Lakitu there. Goodbye. Oh, yeah, you can't grab. For some reason, I was expecting to be able to grab that. Whoa! That was weird. <laughs> so, I, you can't get these guys on your side unless you punch them, I guess. I'll have that guy go and kill the Lava Lotus so that I don't have to actually venture up there to defeat it. That's pretty nice. I feel like Bowser's... definitely the worst, like, in terms of actual usability compared to the other characters. Like, a lot of the other characters seem to have their strengths and weaknesses, and Bowser's strength seems to come into play when getting fireballs, because they're obscenely powerful, and that's nice, but... They allow him, allow him to kill things like thwomps and whatnot, and of course get a bajillion lives, which I'm not even sure is fair, but we'll roll with it for the moment. Oh, I got this level again. I already got this level. Let's re-roll. I've got a large enough pool of levels that... Oh. I'm starting to regret re-rolling now. <laughs> Didn't work at all, so... And Bowser can't get into a one space gap like this. I don't think. I'm starting to feel like there's very little Bowser can actually complete properly unless it's carefully made. Oh wow. I don't remember this level at all. And it's also relies on speed. So, this is going to be harsh. Oh, that would be great for Wario. Although he wouldn't be the best pick here either, I don't think. Let's... Oop. That was close. Run, Bowser, run! ASM... Oh, wait. ASMBXT? But I thought it said Yacht of Opinions. <laughs> help! Help me! Sorry, Luigi. 
No, Luigi! <laughs> this is the saddest story in existence. Especially since Luigi was technically my mortal enemy. Oh, this should work. As long as I don't accidentally hit the switch character blocks. Yeah, this level is quirky, but interesting. Ah! Gotta be careful with Bowser in the water when I'm so close to the bottom. Yeah, this is a level that Bowser finds not too bad because he can hit stuff, but even still, Link would just do everything here eight times better. Because I don't need the fireballs to... the really powerful fireballs to kill anything here. And Link would have three hits. Yeah, I am just a little bit off. I didn't even really need to kill that guy, but... Ugh, get over it. I don't think there's much else to say about this level. It's just me kicking the crud out of some piranha plants. Ugh. Dang it. That formation didn't work so well. I mean, it'd be really easy if I maintained my fireballs and still losing them like a chump. Okay, good thing I remembered that first one, the height of the first one from earlier, so I knew knew to throw the fireball early. Hey, it's a moon. You're a dummy, though, aren't you? You're just... Oh, you're not. Oh, how did that... How did I get through that time? Okay, so as long as... If I go up to the edge and then hold right, and then press right again, it seems like it lets me through. Well, I guess I'm not... I don't entirely care about skipping Atlanta, so I already did. I, I've already spent enough time with Bowser. I don't need to go through that level. I didn't mind Atlantis as much as a lot of other people did, but going through it with Bowser is too much. <laughs> oh, what? I thought he wouldn't come out of his pipe because I was over top. Dang it, I, was, I didn't think that other one over the left it would fire, so I wasn't prepared to deal with his fireball. Let's actually try to time this this time, and kill you before you're a threat. Ugh, he's got a wall of minions there. I'm supposed to be the one with the wall of minions. Why did I do that? I don't need that star. Oh, good, this is the return pipe. Thank goodness, because I didn't want to actually do that side route. Ah, oh, crud. Array of fireballs is not something Bowser wants to deal with at all. Okay. Since I managed to preserve my fireballs this time, this part's a little bit easier. Oh yeah, that guy's not hungry. Hooray! Let's just... get there instead of uh, trying to burn everything. And... I'm assuming you're another power. No, wait. The power up pipe is right there, so why would there be a power up here? Instead, it's a ton of coins. You can die so that I can actually get up there in safety. Well, I can't really get up there at all, even though the coin trail seems to be implying that maybe I can. Even with Linker Peach, I don't see how I'd get up there, but. Ugh. No, Bowser can't make that. How would Link make that? Can he actually jump that high, or. Don't tell me this level's impossible because of that. Because I don't see any other way of uh, getting up here. Unless I can swim underneath, but that's probably going to get me killed. <laughs> I cheated again. No, run, Bowser, run! Or you're going to die. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, now that I have a bit more room. Okay. Yeah, this level's got this kind of cool minimalistic style to it. I kind of like it. And that includes the music. The music's kind of got, kind of fits with the level in that way. So let's hope I don't die trying to break the level again because... I've managed to hit 99 lives, but I don't want to redo it again. Ugh, the fact that both of you were there is annoying. And I've got to pick and choose my times to fire wisely, and they've got shields too, thanks to these other chumps in the way. But, it seems like I've made it now, and I have no time pressure anymore. But, I do have to be careful to be swimming, to have some upward momentum when I punch, or else I'm not, or I'm also going to fall down the hole. Ugh. Even getting through that level, which was... Very straightforward with Peach and Link was a very big challenge for Bowser. Let's grab this Goomba guy. I wonder if he can attack enemies from underneath or anything. You're not helpful. Burn this guy. This level just seems like a straightforward jump over the Koopas level. So it's going to be pretty straightforward for Bowser. Gotta be careful. Oh, it did the Super Mario World 1 up. That's interesting. So yeah, I've got to be careful. Oh, I found a pipe. Oh yeah, I've been to this level before. I totally forgot about it. Whatever. I'll, I'll just keep going at this point. I know this level's fairly short, and I've spent enough time with Bowser, so that was close. But thankfully he keeps a little bit of momentum when he punches. There we go. At least that level was stress-free. <laughs> Oh hey, this level. This level was pretty great. Uh, of course, it heavily depended on being towed, I think, so... this uh, I'm not sure how this will go. I'm not sure even Toad... Yeah, I think Toad would be able to make that, but Bowser can't, so... I guess I'm re-rolling the level again. <laughs> Well, this has already turned me into... <laughs> this has already turned me into Peach, so that's not going to be so good. Uh-oh. Gotta survive long enough to be able to reroll the level, at least. Hey, uh, I got a free cape, though. Maglex 2. Okay. So this is... I'm trying to remember what level this is. Oh, this is the, this is this level. Okay, yeah, I remember it now. See, I swear this is supposed to give a key. Oh wait, maybe I'm supposed to bump it with Link. Okay, this isn't gonna work either. Let's think about negotiations and bullet bills. Okay, this is the one with uh, Mort with that weird Morton recolor, isn't it? Do I go in here? Maybe I should have talked to the toads at least. Well, it's expecting me to block things with the shield, but I could probably at least get around with that by just dodging stuff. Yeah, it's just kind of this bridge here, and... No, this is something completely different from what I thought. And I'm not sure why all the... Why some of the buzzy beetles look like that in Megalex 2 for me, but they do. That doesn't help me at all, considering I'm not a toad. All you care about is yourself, toad. You just want to be the star of everything. Oh, right, this is the level with the lava geysers. That was basically the most notable thing about this level. This level just has such wide open spaces with nothing in it. it, it it's just like... 
it's like a million places where it feels like there should be something more and there just isn't. Why can't you go in here? There. Took some jiggering, but it worked eventually. Gosh dang it. <laughs> that bullet bill was in just the wrong place and I didn't react early enough to actually deal with it. Which would have been earlier... Yep. Saw. Jump, jump, jump. Okay, that that was humorously easy with Mario, but with Bowser it's at least a little bit challenging. There wasn't a whole... This level's main crime is mostly just being empty, but... <laughs> I can almost go for getting lives out of those things if I needed them. There's one thing Bowser doesn't suck at. Oh, hello, it's you guys. You guys were part of the plot, right? Okay, yeah. So I need... whoops! Oh yeah, that's what happens! And now I grab the key and go in the door? Why do I need to go upstairs again? Do I have to kill Ludwig, or...? I'm killing my own Koopaling. I'm surprised there's no midpoint there. Ugh, stupid sign making me throw the key. That's unfortunate. Oh, there's the midpoint. They gave me like three different... They gave me like two different blocks to... No, I don't need that. That's always helpful though. Got all the feathers. With Bowser's super high jump height from the feathers. This should be a lot easier. Especially when the game is apparently is deciding to give me a generator that's probably not appropriately placed. Well, that was awkward, but I did it. Jump, Bowser! Yeah, I definitely need this feather. Thank goodness I have it. Okay, now I understand why that feather generator was there, probably, but... Yeah, I better attack by jumping on him, because there's no way I'm going to be able to slash this thing moving around everywhere. And I said slash because I was thinking of Link, even though... It's, I'm obviously Bowser right now. Goodbye. And I have to punch again to get moving. Okay, well that was a right mess. <laughs> but eventually I got through with enough time and effort. But yeah, Bowser is probably the most painful to play out of everyone so far. All the other ones had their strengths and weaknesses. But Bowser's main strength is only comes into play when you get power-ups, I think. Because... The, the best thing about Bowser is that the very first power-up in the level, instead of being a mushroom, it's going to be something better. Unless, it, you know, it's a mushroom block anyway. But you don't have to already be in big status to get another power-up. But having two hits, he's so slow and... Huge hitbox, all of the things that make him tricky to play kind of... Uh, end up overcompensating for that. I think a little bit because it becomes really hard to actually maneuver at all. And the being able to throw the enemies, as I noted earlier, is mostly only useful in levels where you probably didn't need it in the first place to make it through. Because they, they don't tend to have an effect on anything difficult that you want to kill, and they don't have any an effect on the platforming at all. So, whatever, let's see what else I have to, let's see who else is in store.